How's it going, everyone? Glenn Curtis here again for your week 11 picks of the 2010 NFL schedule. Quick recap of last week: I went six and eight, a little better, a little better than the week before, but uh, it's still hurt my uh, my average. I'm at 51%, still above half, which is barely, but we're good for the season. I'm 73, 68, and three. Hoping to pick that up starting this week. So let's uh, let's, let's get to it. We've got a Thursday night game, Sunday night games, and a Monday game. Our Thursday game is I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins over the Chicago Bears. The Dolphins are favored by two in this. Uh, I think Miami should. It's going to be a close game. Would not surprise me if they win by three points. Um, they might just be able to edge it in over the Bears. Bears are showing that they still have some secret or hidden talent left for their teams. Uh, after that, for the Sunday games, I'm going to start off by taking the Baltimore Ravens over the Carolina Panthers. Baltimore's favored by 10, and this should be a very easy win for the Ravens. Uh, I'm going to say it's not going to be any closer than 14. Panthers have a lot of work to do, and they're not going to get any, they're not going to show any signs of growth for at least the beginning of next year. Uh, after that, I'm going to take the Houston Texans to beat the spread over the New York Jets. The Jets are favored by 6.5, and, and I think Houston should be able to keep this uh, to a six point game. Um, big win for the Jets. They need that to keep pace for the division, but Houston should be able to keep this within three to three to six points. After that, I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs to beat the Arizona Cardinals by eight. Um, I liked, I liked. KC's got a lot of. Um, a lot of makeup to do with how poorly they got beat by the Broncos last week in Arizona. They're just scratching to not be at the bottom of the pit. They're a low-rate team. They're not going to win their division. If they do, I'll be shocked. So it should be an easy 9-10 point game for the Chiefs. After that, I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans to beat the Washington Redskins. Tennessee's favored by 6 in this. Uh, Washington's getting shakier and shakier every week. They just got absolutely mangled by the Eagles. I don't know if that'll shatter a lot of things or if that'll make them work extra hard this week so they'll be better for the weekend. But I think Tennessee should be able to run all over Washington uh, win that game by 7 to 10 points. After that, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills to beat the spread over the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Cincinnati's favored by 6 in this game. I've, I've noticed, I've followed a trend here that Buffalo has kept all their games, or at least the majority of their games, really close within seven or six to ten points and Cincinnati they're two and seven they're very poor I keep realizing how bad Cincinnati is especially the Buffalo just got off their win they've got a lot of motivation they've got a lot of momentum on their side I think this will be a three-point game for the Bengals after that I'm gonna take the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Oakland Raiders uh, Pittsburgh's favored by seven and a half uh, if Heinz Ward returns from his uh, mild concussion that he got received last week That'll be a bonus for the Steelers. Steelers need to bounce back from their loss last week. And I think they should be able to win this game by 10 points. After that, I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns to upset the Jaguars. Jags are favored by 1.5 here. Um, Cleveland, they, they're they an up-and-down team. I'm liking Cleveland, though. I didn't, I didn't like... Jacksonville, they're just... They have a lot of the random plays. They won by having the ball... Smack down into their hands. That's just chance. You don't win by chance. I'm sorry. That's not how it should go. So I'm going to take Cleveland by six points in this game. After that, I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys to beat the Detroit Lions by two. Detroit just lost to the Bills. That probably hurts a bit. And they, Dallas had a huge win against the Giants last week. They brought up their confidence again. Uh, John Kenna, he's apparently showing that he can play now. So that should be a... I'm going to say a nine-point game for the Cowboys. After that, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks to beat the spread over the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans favored by 11.5 in this game. They might be able to do it with uh, the possible return of Reggie Bush, um, but I liked Seattle last week. They had a good game against Arizona. They're fighting. they got to fight hard for a playoff spot, um, so I think they should be able to keep this within a 10-point game, if not a 7-point game. Um, even if they actually, I'm willing to guess, if Seattle wins this game this week, that they'll make the playoffs. And, that, and you can hold me to that now. So I'm going to have New Orleans win the game by 7. After that, I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons to beat the St. Louis Rams by 3. 
This is another spot where uh, Seattle is coming into play here. St. Louis is also fighting for that same division, but I don't think they have near enough a chance against the Falcons as the Seahawks do against the Saints. Um, the Falcons should win that game probably by, I'm going to say, 14 points. After that, I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to upset the, the San Francisco 49ers. The Niners are favored by three, and I don't quite understand why. Um, Tampa Bay is a good team. They're a good, decent team. They just have better teams in their division. That's why they're not leading right now. And San Fran, they were lucky um, to keep the game as close as they did against the against the Rams last week. After that, I'm going to take the New England Saint or the New England Patriots to upset the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, actually, sorry, the Patriots are favored by three. It should be a close game. A lot of people are telling me that game might push. And it wouldn't surprise me if it does, but I'm going to say that they're going to get, they're going to sneak a field goal in at the end of the game and win by six. So Patriots by six over Colts. For our last Sunday night game, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the New York Giants. It's a huge divisional game. Uh, Philly's probably still feeling their high from the big win from last week, and they might be able to use that to their advantage against the Giants. Seeing how the Giants just got crushed, they got just got their emotions crushed by the Cowboys last week. So I think the Eagles should win that by six as well. And for our Monday night game, I'm going to pick the Denver Broncos to beat the spread over the San Diego Chargers. San, San Diego is favored by ten. I don't understand. San Diego's putting up all these passing yards, and it they just keep losing. It makes no sense to me. And Denver had a huge win against the Chiefs last week. So I'm going to say Denver will keep this game within seven points. All right, everyone, there's my week 11 picks. If you like my picks, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I always like hearing feedbacks, what you guys think, your guys' picks. Um, I love hearing more more updates. If you like my video, hit that thumbs up button. It helps us all out. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit the subscription button up above. All right, I'll see you guys next week.